Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly uh, weekend. Excuse me. Welcome to your weekend love reading for May 21st through May 24th for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is doing safe, being happy, well, healthy. So let's go ahead and get shuffled up, guys. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Virgos, please? What advice, what love messages, what guidance do my Virgos need to hear, please, from May 21st through May 24th, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed welcome back and if you have yet to do so please go ahead and click that red subscribe button i do choose multiple winners every week for free readings i give away tarot cards oracle cards palo santo sage jewelry um it is a lot of fun so be sure to like share comment and subscribe click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced okay um personal readings i'm still taking uh emergency readings only due to high demand okay um the link is below um my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, is also below if you'd like to go ahead and subscribe, um, which I'm going to start working on more now. I, I'm actually studying the book of Philippians in the Bible. Um, I'm going to be starting a new series on Divine Spirit Healing uh, about overcoming pain and suffering. It's going to be based off of the book of Philippians, but you don't have to be Christian or it, it's just, you know, the storyline of it, the, the, the heart of the matter, basically, okay? Um, so that is below. So Virgo, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message, which uh, was pretty painful. So I don't know if it's you going through this, Virgo, or if it uh, if it's your person going through this. You know, it could be you, your person. Um, so what I'm feeling here is <sighs> there was something here that may have been a little toxic. Maybe there was lies. Maybe there was cheating. Maybe there was some form of deceit. Um but someone's leaving. Somebody is walking away due to uh, this toxicity. I feel that that is going to cause very, um, a very, com uh, it's not going to feel good. Okay. So, I mean, it's, it's not going to feel good. Um, there's obviously competition in the picture, jealousy, drama, strife here. Um, and I feel what's worse is is whoever is getting rejected, whoever is, is, who is, whoever is, you know, maybe somebody here may want to apologize, okay, and, um, you know, that, that apology is being rejected, whoever here is being rejected actually ends up falling in love once they're rejected, it's almost like a sense of karmic justice, okay, um, I did see the scales for karmic justice. It's, it's almost a sense of like karmic justice. So whoever here did that bad thing, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was lying, cheating, deception, you know, whatever, whatever it was. Okay. Um, they, they put out an offer for an apology and it was not received and they're realizing now, oh my gosh, this is really over. I really hurt my person to the point of like, you know, death you know what i'm saying like I, I i i've beaten this to death you know so virgo you could be at this point with your person where your person has hurt you to this point where like you know what i'm saying now they are realizing that that's it they've stabbed you with the left last knife in your back and we're done now no more apologies accepted um once this person really sees you take off virgo or once you actually see your person really take off that's when the yearning sets in that's when the love really sets in. That's when you really realize, or that's when they really realize how much they loved you, okay? Under the deck, we've got the Four of Cups. There's that rejection, that feeling of loneliness, that feeling of discontent. What did I just do? You know what I'm saying? What did I just do to my person? You know, that feeling of, you know, you got to remember the next card up is that feeling of regret. So we're getting there. This person is now in a state of loneliness, you know, asking themselves, why did I not take the four cups that were given to me? This person was a gift from God. This love was a gift from God. And, you know, I didn't appreciate it. I didn't take those cups while they were there. And now that they're not here anymore, now it hurts. Okay. Under the deck, we have kindred partnership here. So we could possibly be dealing with a soulmate connection. Let's see what we have here. 
spirit messages do we have for my Virgos, please? Let's see what the overall energy here is. Oh, we've got man holding a coin. Okay, so this is stability. This is stability. This is loyalty. This is, you know, someone here that may be financially well off, possibly. And we've got attachment here. Okay, so we've got one person here that was very stable, very, very loyal very stable, very loyal. And the other person here was still chained to some form of toxic behavior. Could have been drinking, could have been drugs, could have been, you know, sexual addictions, could have been porn, could have been online flirting, online dating, could have been anything, uh, even as far as just being non-committal. Okay. Um, you know, maybe negative attachment to family or, or, you know, whatever it is, just still chained to negative, uh, to something negative here. Well, one person here was super stable and ready to go. The other person was just in a whole other energy. What messages do we have for my Virgos? Material harvest. Okay. So this is a card of um, manifestation. Okay. This is a card of manifestation. And I feel that, you know, both of you manifested accordingly, okay? One person here wanted to manifest stability and security, and they do for themselves. This person is secure and is, you know, good all by themselves, this man holding a coin here. Um, and this person here manifested negativity. Do you understand? So this is all about now, you know, getting the connection to work. Is it going to work? Is it going to come together? Okay. So let's see, cause this is like, for me, it's like a nine of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? This is, you know, getting to that point of, you know, freeing yourself from these bonds and these chains and also freeing this person. So let's see what we have here in the tarot. Okay. So we have here true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Um, now, there could be an age difference between you and your person, possibly. There could be um, an emotional maturity difference between you and your person. Um, or you may actually even have children with this person, okay? Um, now, this is also an indication for me of falling in love because children is also a sense of fertility. It's a sense of, uh, you know, a new beginning, a new growth. And, you know, someone here may actually be realizing that they have fallen in love. So let's see here. We've got express your love. And then we have religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and go ahead and make them in. Yeah, someone here, I feel that someone here, th this could be a twin flame energy with religious factors, um, could be a soulmate energy with religious factors. It could also be that one person here is on a very high um, spiritual vibration. Like this person expresses love from a very high vibration place. Like this person, you know, believes in the divine. They're very close to, to God. They're very close to their spirituality. So when this person loves, they truly, truly love, right? So let's see here. So we have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy, the Ace of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. So let me tell you something. Someone here is seeing clearly that one person here was an absolute blessing, that they were destined, that this is their soulmate, that Wheel of Fortune and a love reading can indicate um, a soulmate connection, okay? Someone here is seeing it clearly now that that they have lost an empress, okay? That that they ha they have fallen in love with an empress here. We've got the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy, the Lover's card, Gemini energy, and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So here we have somebody that should have been committed, but with that lover's card, they were very undecided. Maybe there was a third party in the picture, and with the high priestess here, they were not being completely honest. They were not speaking their truth, okay? So what's happening here is, you know, this person you know, met the love of their life. This person had uh, this beautiful connection here, but then something new began here. Okay. They were supposed to be committed, but I feel like something, and you know, this is the secret here with the high priestess that could also be a mistress card, right? The high priestess, because it's ultimately a secret, something that's not being told to you. And with that lover's card, something may have come into the picture to disrupt somebody here to make them become doubtful and undecided about this true love that they had. Now, with express your love here, we've got the nine of swords, we've got temperance, Sagittarian energy, and we have the king of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So this person just straight up ran out of steam. 
You know what I'm saying? Like they were expressing their love, expressing their love, sitting home at night crying. Why isn't this person loving me back? What am I doing wrong? What did I do wrong? With temperance, finally, this person um, came to a place where, you know, their passion for this connection, their drive, their want to like, you know, succeed and move forward in this connection tempered down. They started to just slowly, you know, the, the, the love that they had to give started to, they ran out of steam. It started to die down. Okay. Now here we have the death card, scorpionic energy, the 10 of swords, and the Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. We might be dealing with a healer here, possibly with religious factors and the high priestess. We may be dealing with someone who has very high intuition. Um, but with the death card here, someone here knew intuitively that they needed to let go, let God. Things needed to change. They, they, I mean, they can't stay like this. You know what I'm saying? Things had to change. And with that Ten of Swords, there's that 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 final painful ending. That's the last sword being stabbed in the back of uh, that this is it this is all i can take you've killed me i'm done you know what i'm saying i'm done and with that knight of wands leo sag aries energy i feel like someone here just knows that the other person is non-committal someone here just they cannot take it anymore they cannot take the feeling the knowing that someone here is non-committal Okay. And another thing I'm feeling is someone here may be stressed out because they can feel their person's passion has tempered down. Like maybe this started all hot and heavy and passionate and this person was all about them. You know what I'm saying? This person came in hot and heavy towards this empress that they were all about them. You're a blessing. You're this, you're that, all this attention. And then boom, feelings tempered down. And this person, you know, is over here with all this anxiety. Like what happened? Where did my person go? right? You know what I'm saying? Where did my person go? So that four of cups really applies to both areas here because this person here feels kind of like abandoned and, and, you know, feels like, you know, I'm giving my love and nobody's taking it. And now this person here is going to start to feel like, oh my gosh, why didn't I take that cup? Right? So let's see what we have going on here. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, what clarity can we bring to my Virgos, please? What clarity can we bring to my Virgos, please, Spirit? Spirit, tell me about this Empress, please. We've got the moon, Cancer, Piscean energy. So this Empress knows that there's things happening, okay? This Empress has massive intuition. This Empress knows that things are happening behind her back. He, she, it doesn't matter, guys, okay? It doesn't matter. Tell me about this moon. The... <laughs> so the empress is clarified by the moon and the moon is now clarified by the empress yeah see this empress has strong intuition man and that's why she's out that's why she's leaving she has left the building she's closing up shop here with that king of swords pushing everything away giving up on the burden she's done uh she again gender doesn't matter guys i'm saying she because it's the empress but um, I feel here that this person is that they know, this empress knows that something is going on behind her back. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Yeah, she sees the truth clearly here with that devil card, Capricorn energy. See, she, she sees the truth clearly. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune, the World card. Okay, so guys, what I'm getting here is, all right, the side that got hurt is here. The side is hurt that's hurting somebody is here. So this person met their emperor or empress, okay? Their intuition told them, this is my person. But with the moon card, they didn't want to say it. They didn't want to admit it. They didn't want to say, you are the love of my life. You are the person I've meant to be with. With that ace of swords and the devil card, they spoke lies. They spoke deceit. And by doing so, they ended up blocking their blessing. Okay, now they're facing karmic justice for this. This Wheel of Fortune and the World card, this is karmic justice. This, you know, this is somebody now, they were given a blessing. They were giving this beautiful blessing and now it's going to get taken away because they did not appreciate it. You know, that Four of Cups talks about not appreciating what the universe, what God is giving to you. Okay, tell me about the High Priestess. We've got the Ace of Pentacles underneath children here. So this is a new beginning. This could even mean that somebody here got pregnant. Okay, with that Ace of Pentacles and children here and that, that High Priestess. This could mean that your person actually got somebody pregnant without you knowing. Okay, possibly. That's not for everybody. But I am feeling that this person took on a new lover behind your back. Okay.
okay? Or, you know, started something new behind your back here. We've got the lover's card with the six of cups. Someone here may have been uh, still stuck in the past, still fooling around with an ex, okay? Maybe an ex came back in the picture when you guys were talking or you guys were together. We've got the justice card, Libra energy. Yeah, see, so, yeah. This person is going to pay their karma for this now. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. They did not. Now you see that cup, how it's being given by the universe, how it's being, being given by God. And someone here still wanted to dabble in the past. Something that God and the universe had already taken away from them. Do you understand? So I feel here, guys, that, yeah. Someone here is going to pay a hefty price for, for messing around with somebody from their past is what I'm seeing here. Spirit, tell me about this Nine of Swords. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So now we have the King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. And this Queen is going through a lot of anxiety. This Queen is really feeling it, okay? Tell me about the Temperance card. We've got the Tower, yeah. So I feel like the fact that passion and communication and this connection, the fact that that died down um, caused this tower moment. And another thing I'm feeling is, is that this queen of pentacles here um, was patient, patient beyond measure. Really, she was. She was patient. She was kind. She was forgiving. You know, she held her own. The queen of pentacles does not have emotional outbursts. She holds her own. Even if she's in pain, she keeps it to herself. You know what I'm saying? Wakes up every day with a smile and does what she needs to do. Gender doesn't matter, guys. But, you know, she's done being patient now. And for the queen of pentacles to really blow up, she has had enough. Okay? She has had enough. Tell me about this king of wands. We've got the Hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about this Hermit. We've got the Six of Swords. Yeah. This Queen of Pentacles is now going into King of Wands mode. She's standing up. She's standing her ground. She's confident and she is walking away. She's withdrawing and she's getting in her boat, in her car. She sees the truth for what it is and she's tired. She's tired. She's tired of waiting to be happy. She's tired of looking out that window, waiting for her happiness. She's tired of it, okay? Tell me about this death card, please, Spirit. Tell me about the death card. We've got the sun, yeah. This queen of pentacles has come to the realization that she needs a major life change here. Hope is not lost. Faith is not lost. This is somebody who hasn't given up on love, okay? They know they went through a hard time, but this person has not given up on love, okay? They realize here that the only thing that needs to change is this person here. There's a whole wide world out there, and God will send them, you know, again, this person leans very heavily on their spirituality. This person is letting go, letting God. They're going to heal. They're going to grow. They're going to recover. This person is realizing that this is toxic and they want to get away tell me about this ten of swords we've got the four of wands okay now it may be difficult for some because this might be a twin flame connection um it may be difficult for some because you might be living with this person you may have children with this person you may have a family with this person it may hurt because one person here was so stable it may hurt because one person here had so many dreams envisioned this beautiful future here do you understand and with that ten of swords it's just like you know this person just keeps destroyed little by little they chipped away at that dream to the point that there's nothing and for others i mean it could be a twin flame connection and that's why it's really hard to separate tell me about that four of wands we've got the lover's card soulmate energy here okay it hurts because one person is yearning for this stability and this commitment so much and the other person is so undecided, so in and out, so non-committal, okay? They see that snake there, they're always giving in to temptation and it's just too much. Spirit, tell me about this Knight of Wands. Tell me about this Knight of Wands, please. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. One person was very loving, very kind, very giving. And the other person, you know, I, I feel with the King of Wands here, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. I feel like this queen kind of knew that this person had this little side to them where maybe they were a little irresponsible or whatever. But I kind of felt like this queen here always thought that at the end of the day, they were dealing with a king when in fact they were obviously not, okay? And now this person is realizing they're getting their downloads. I feel like that Ace of Wands is their downloads that it's time to withdraw, possibly move to a new home. There's going to be massive change here. There's going to be massive change here. Um, 
let's see here with the oracle we've got transformation again and milestone yeah this person this person here that messed around changed their outcome okay they were supposed to have this beautiful beautiful happily ever after okay this person was supposed to have a beautiful ending in life okay they had the wheel of fortune with this milestone everything that they wanted was laid out before them and they changed their destiny they changed that okay they changed that by this behavior now here we've got travel and we've got great gratitude. This person is like, thank you for the time. Thank you for my lessons. Because this person sees everything on a high vibrational note. So this person over here is not leaving with anger, jealousy, or malice in their heart. Thank you for the time. Thank you for this lesson that you have taught me. And now I gotta go. Bye. Boy, bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so somebody here is just like, they, you know, they're on a way more high vibrational frequency. Don't forget, this is supposed to be the empress here. Do you understand? This is the empress. So, and this person knows beyond the shadow of a doubt that they are dealing with an empress. You got an empress on top of the empress here. I mean, look at this. You know what I'm saying? Their intuition told them, okay, this is my empress slash emperor. The, you know, gender doesn't matter, but they didn't want to acknowledge it with that moon card. They didn't want to, you know, they didn't want to acknowledge it. They just didn't want to acknowledge it. So here we've got the five of wands. Now we've got strife, drama, you know, jealousy, competition, because this person does not want to be left out in the cold. This person doesn't want to be abandoned. Okay, but we've got the four of swords and the sun. The fact of the matter is Leo energy, they are most definitely being abandoned. They are most definitely um, being left to sit with their own thoughts now and that awareness of what did I just do? What did I just do? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling here with that four of swords. One person is moving on towards their happiness and the other one is sitting in a dark room laying there like, what? Really? What did I just do? All right, guys. So let's take this into an extended. Let's see what's going to happen here. Is there going to be reconciliation? Is this person going to be able to get this person back? Uh, because this is this is like a major breakup, okay? And there's going to be karmic justice here, 100%. So I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Is this, you know, because one person is out the door here. They're leaving. They, they've had patience of a saint. Literally, the patience of a saint. And now they're done, okay? So you know when somebody has maintained this much patience, when they say they're done, they're truly done, okay? They are truly 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 done this person has had enough of their stability their hopes their dreams being stabbed to death by that snake okay so let's see here if this person is going to be able to get this person back and if they are going to turn into an emperor for their empress okay all right guys the link for the extended will be in the description box below and it will also be in the comment section i love you guys bye